What I would take away from this video, the, the three main points are number one, you know, have a content creation day where you're really focused on creating all the content you need to do so that you'll get that done every week. Two, you gotta always be working on your long-term projects. You know, whether it's two week projects, one month projects, you should always be bettering yourself and upgrading your skills and trying out new areas to branch out as producers. And finally, that at your fresh, most energetic phase of the day, you're getting the important things done. And then you're taking a little break from that and working on the menial tasks of the day. Hey guys, I don't know if it's just me or if it's something that all of us independent artists are dealing with nowadays in 2021, but I feel like I'm always behind. I'm putting in so much work. I'm struggling to catch up. No matter what work I'm doing, I don't think it's the right work at the right time. So I wanted to develop a strategy to try to combat this. And what this strategy is, is segmenting my work out by category. So four different categories of work. And then using my week intelligently, putting different categories of work at different days throughout the week. So I know that throughout the week I'm gonna get everything done. And I also can just let my mind be free on those days when I'm doing that work. These four different categories include your content, so all of the videos for YouTube you're gonna make, all of the Instagram posts, and stories, uh, if you're doing newsletters, all of this type of content that we are required to put out as musicians nowadays. Second category is obviously your music output. So this is, you know, doing your recording, your producing if you're a producer, uh, mixing, mastering, anything to actually work on the most important thing, which is your music. Third is your general business things. So this is networking with people, um, trying to get collaborations together, reaching out to different playlisters and blogs, but also just organizing your bios for Spotify, uh, doing album artworks, writing emails, any of the day-to-day -day tasks that you have to do. And fourth, this is a very important thing, is long-term projects that you want to accomplish. And I think it's important that you're always stretching to expand your skills and your reach as a musician. So this could be creating a YouTube channel, creating merch to sell, making sample packs that you can sell, making a newsletter and trying to get subscribers, trying out a different type of ad campaign. Any long-term projects, you should always be working on one and improving your skills and your reach online. So I start the week out and I start on a Tuesday by first when I'm freshest accomplishing my content creation. So this is making videos here, doing my Instagram posts, um, all of the actual filming, um, writing, creating content that I need to do for the entire week. I just, when I'm really fresh, get all of this knocked out of the way so I'm not gonna have to worry about it later. Once I've worked for a couple hours on this stuff, then I'll do some business tasks like writing emails, reaching out to people, just all of the little day-to-day -day stuff, checking my ads, um, anything that I need to do for that day. And this is something that I, you'll see that I repeat day-to-day, -day, but it's something after I've spent my most fresh period of energy doing creative stuff, then I work on this at the end of the session just to kind of get it out of the way. Then I'll take a break for a while and clear my head before coming back and finishing out my content creation for the day. So this is editing the videos, making the thumbnails, anything that I need to do to complete all of my content for the entire week. And what does my content entail? Well, I'm gonna put out a YouTube video every week. I'm going to create at least three Instagram posts. I'll create a newsletter to email to my subscribers. Um, if you're working on a podcast, you could do that then. Now the next day on Wednesday for me, I do a similar arrangement of a day, but this time with music. I'm just solely focused on music. So I do a big chunk when I'm the freshest on music production, mixing, whatever I'm working on at that time. Then I'll take a break and do the tasks once again, once I'm a little bit drained from all the music and this kind of is a good use of that time. Then I'll take a break once again and come back to do music again when I'm a little bit more energized. And now I can just really be free 
to get creative with my music for the rest of the day. Now on Thursday, during the most energized first session of the day, I spend that on long-term projects, which are really important to be always doing. So I dedicate one of these fresh periods throughout the week to long-term projects. Um, right now I'm working on getting my newsletter out and getting some more email subscribers. So I'll spend a lot of time on this for the month. Um, next month, a new round of merchandise on my store and to advertise and sell this. Another thing you could be doing here is visioning out your gear and writing goals. Um, just trying to accomplish long-term projects is really important. Then I'll do the tasks once again at the end of this session, take a break, and come back and then I can work on music once again uh, for a bit to end the day. Now my Friday is a little bit more open-ended. This usually will be a business or long-term project start of the day, then I'll do tasks and I'll end with long-term projects or business. Saturday is then like Wednesday where I just have a music making session and then I take a break and I come back and end the week with music. And doing this allows me to have big breaks in between my music days. So it's Wednesday and Saturday with a little bit of music on Thursday. And this allows me to come back with a fresh perspective and just devote the entire day to music. And you can kind of switch things around, but I highly advise to do your content creation day on your first day of the week so that you have something tangible that you've completed. And also, you can then just post these things, you know, your videos the next day, your Instagram posts the following days. Don't have to even worry about making those things. All right, well, I hope you enjoy taking some of these tips from me. I'm gonna keep on implementing these uh, routines and come back for more tips on being a musician, artist, producer in the modern age where we have all of these things that we have to do. All right guys, talk to you soon. Bye.